Hello and welcome to a EverQuest guide for a level 105 mage. Now, this might not make a lot of sense. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to add this, this video with my other 105 videos when those come out. Uh, but what I've done in the future, so spoilers, in the Holder's Crusade I added a mage. Uh, when they were around uh, 110. They're uh, like one, uh, 111 now, so kind of doesn't make sense, but whatever. Uh, just if you're following both series of this, these guides and all that, that's just kind of where we're at. Uh, but so for what we're going to do is go through this and uh, kind of talk about how I have been playing the mage for the last five levels because I heroic boosted it, this guy, uh, character, to uh, 100 so I could skip the early game. So uh, I have extended targets set up here <coughs> with uh, all four characters, right? So Holdridge is always one, so that's my tank, my enchanter, my druid, and now my uh, mage. And then next target five is the assist target. So all the macros are based around whatever is the next target five is what we attack. And we can kind of go through the spells, right? I have a twin cast, Remorseless Servant. So twin cast is uh, pretty basic. It allows, allows us to uh, twin cast a spell that does damage, right? Uh, if we'll so just cast it twice, so you get uh, double the damage. Pretty nice. Remor Remorseless Servant uh, summons a little pet that will attack the target. Here you see here, right? Should pop out. There he is. Little pet, he'll attack the target. It's... Uh, it's just a swarm pet. Used to get like multiple, but I, they've like reduced the number of mobs and increased the damage. Uh, Storm of Many. So, of many, <laughs> it being the line of spell, right? And this does more damage based on the number of mobs attacking a target, right? So, uh, pets, that is, uh, not just mobs. So, between one and two, it'll do... Uh, Let's see here. <laughs> 4,800 with one, <laughs> 20,000 with three to six, and 3,600 for, uh, or 36,000 for seven or more. Now, that is, that is, you know, it's hard to hit that many, right? You need to be in like a situation where you're having lots of pets. So I have swarm pets that I can summon. Uh, that's kind of where that kind of goes in. So I have one plus my pet there. And then uh, there's some other AAs that will also throw pets on there. Plus I have uh, the enchanter pet. And uh, I think that's it. <laughs> so it, the damage varies, right? And then I have a fickle uh, conflagration here. Strikes your target with F elemental fire focusing... Uh, are causing 15,000 damage and increases the damage of your next spell. So uh, for a brief period of time, which then is a Spear of the Molten Shield Stone. So this does just a big nuke, does 26,000 uh, damage, right? I'll just click it. You know, we got 61 out of it for that. So if we do, uh, so we use on that three few seconds. Okay, so Fickle configuration we get this one minute to proc thing right here there we go i don't even see the damage must have resisted it let's try again here come on there we go 197,000 critical with that flick uh fickle configuration thing so these kind of build on each other in a way uh, then I have Summon Blazing Orb, which summons this item right here. Uh, Blazing Orb, which is a right click, 3000 damage. So it's just in my uh, multi bind for everything. Uh, then I have Coronal Skin, which is a damage shield that gets added on to the tank, right? So I have a, I have a button that will uh, summon the orb, cast the, it used to be called Infernal Flames. Uh, and then cast that and it just does that so it'll cast it on my tank I was currently not set because I I, I relogged uh, 
and I lost my UI, so I had to rebuild all this right before the video. Uh, I don't know why the camp desktop didn't save anything, but it didn't. Uh, then we have uh, Ice Flame Armaments. This is just a pet buff. Uh, seems to increase some kind of damage. I don't know. I just cast it. It's a pet buff. Um, doesn't say how much or anything like that, but it looks like they have to hit the pet. And, uh, and it grants a chance to hit the, hit them with uh, ice attack. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm still fresh to this, uh, this character. Then I have a mass summon mod rod, which summons this mod rod right here, which is the level, I guess, this one. Take 3,000 health into 2,900 mana. Pretty nice little conversion there. I, uh, I have, I've updated all my characters to use mod rods now <laughs> at, uh, every opportunity, so... It kind of it kind of solves a lot of my mana problem with my uh, druid. Uh, burnout. This is another pet buff. This gives it haste, strength, and uh, all that stuff. Just always have burnout, whatever version on your pet at all times. And then dark symbiosis here, uh, or symbiosis. Uh, this will uh, do it like mana regen. <laughs> like, uh, I think I already have it on. Uh, maybe it wore off already. I don't even see it. Um, there it is. Dark Sim Recourse. So it gives me 51 mana every 6 seconds. And I think it drains from the pet. I think that's how that works. Or it just takes a big chunk. I don't know. I don't even notice it because mercenaries heal it so fast. And then in the last slot, this is kind of a call-all, but I have Call of the Heroes. This is the group summon... Uh, call the hero right I can stand right here all my characters are like right over there and whatever comes off there they go they're all now they're going crazy there we go they resolved <laughs> they had to run in circles to figure out where uh where he was because of the auto follow yeah you can kind of see here with models on on him all right, um, let's see. That's all the spells I cast. I have a separate set for uh, magic, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to load correctly, and it, it hasn't been updated, but you sw I just swap out uh, these three spells for magic-based versions of them. And if we look in like the spell book, like uh, book like 60. No, that still wasn't it. <laughs> so many pages in these books these days uh let's see here remorseless servant yeah dark steel no that's not it oh uh, maybe that's it maybe that cast mallow and uh dark steel i'm i wouldn't cast that uh yeah shock and dark steel it's a ten thousand nuke whereas uh these are a little bit higher uh if that's the right level but we just hit 105 so we're gonna get all new spells and I'll worry about that now. Right now, I'm only fighting stuff that I can do damage to with fire. Um, and I'm, I'm actually doing TOV content with this character. And if I can pull up a log parser here in a second, I'll uh, show some of his damage at 105 versus one, <laughs> one, uh, 15 mob. Uh, all right, hot bars. Hot bars are kind of universal across all my characters, but I got a hide corpse macro, just hides all corpses and auto inventories. Uh, I'm going to assist macro, so this is uh, this is the basic is assist. Uh, X target 5 is always my group main, main group's assist, right? So my paladin, whatever he's targeting, I will always attack that. I'll pet attack it, I'll pet swarm it. I'll use item giant modulation shard. Hopefully I spelt these right, I just remade them like a few seconds ago. Uh, and then use item wand of uh, pelagrat, pelagritic, uh, pelagric transvergence uh those are two mod rods i have right now i have a, just the summon rod mod rods uh macro here it'll just uh cast those but uh, i don't know why it failed there yeah duplicate lore items not allowed uh, i already have so uh for the burns i have just about everything here i have spire of the elements thermatuges focus these all increase my damage i'm not going to show each one of them uh, Companion's Necessity is a little bit different. Uh, do, 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 let's see if I can find it. Can't activate. 
uh, right here. So this summons a pet that will, it's 105, will distract the target and it kind of does an area taunt. So it kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off my, my tank, right? It, it won't get healed by the mercenaries. It kind of just does what it does. <laughs> so this is kind of nice. Uh, just throw it out there and uh, take some of the pressure off of my tank on named mobs. And usually that's the only thing I burn on. Improved twin cast, just another twin cast opportunity. 18 spells for two minutes. Uh, you just want to get as many of those out there as you can. And I save this one for burns. I use the other one in my rotation. Just whenever it's up, it's up. You know, I don't really care. Uh, focus Arcanum, which is right here. Proves a resist modifier by uh, one to 50 points. So it's just like another Tash or Mallow kind of thing. And then in burn two, I have force, uh, force, focus rejuvenation. I think it's actually forceful. <laughs> I wrote it down wrong. Just refreshes all the stuff I have going on here. I don't know. It's, eh, it is what it is. It'll refresh everything but twin, twin cast, it looks like. So if there's something on cooldown, it'll refresh it. Silent casting lowers my hate. Uh, Heart of Skyfire is another damaging spell. Increases my damage by 85 to 135%. Reduces the hatred. Increases damage by critical. So just all around nice little spell to just activate. And then Shield of the Elements. Uh, so this heals me and this uh, does heal over time. So I kind of activate this for the sake of... Uh, well, it's going to absorb on it too, but... You know, while I'm burning, just in case something happens and I take damage, this will kind of just be there and, uh, you know, help me out for that one minute and uh, however long this lasts, right? And then in the burn three button, I have Glyph of Ultimate Power, which I don't actually have yet, which is just a, you know, huge damage increase uh, Glyph that uh, typically raiders use, but... It's, uh, you know, useful. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I've touched on it in any of the uh, videos yet, but these glyphs are very strong and they can uh, change the battle, right? I think dragon scales. Yeah, this one makes you pretty much like God tier. You can take anything. So <laughs> uh, when we get this and when we fight uh, like certain, like say Zalandikar for the first time, right? I'm going to pop a glyph of uh, of uh, dragon scales and then ultimate power on everybody else, right? So we can, you know, five minutes of pretty much vulnerability. <laughs> I should be able to kill the mob if I can get enough damage out, right? And then intensity of the resolute is just another burn. If it uh, works, it works. I don't really care, uh, typically. Uh, let's see here. I have a debuff button. I've moved all my characters to a single debuff button, so this guy does X target five, so targets the assist, pet attack, uh, wind of Mali's, and then he does Mali's. So wind of Mali's is AOE, Mali's is single target. So if, uh, if you know, like one of them doesn't work, the other one is going to work, right? So I try to get at that on everything I can, uh, just to make things a little bit easier for him. One, if the, if the resistor debuffed, <laughs> you know, he's going to be able to land spells. Uh, then I showed my short duration spell uh, right here. These are just, you know, damage shield on the tank, resummons my ore, resummons my mod rod, auto inventory. I can't do multiple auto inventory because there's just not enough room. Uh, but I have auto inventory in his uh, actual uh, uh, multi mine. Uh, let's see here follow, standard follow, X target one, stand follow, invite. Uh, and then I have my transportation things. I have nothing here. <laughs> if I had anything there, I can't remember what it was. Uh, but I lost all, like, every, I logged him in and everything was blank. So <laughs> uh, so here's my multibind, right? So here we see my assist button, which is, uh, you know, X-35 and all that, right? Um, so I cast Twin Cast. I cast Remorse, Remorseless Servant. Uh, Storm of... Uh, Storm of Mini, and then I have all these AA activations, right? Turn Summon, if it's a Summon mob, it'll get an extra nuke. Servant to Row, Second Wind, Host of Elements, Force of Elements, 
Dimensional Shield, Arcane Whisper. <laughs> then it goes into Fickle Configuration, uh, Spear of Molten Shield Stone, uh, that Blazing Orb that we summon every once in a while, Auto Inventory anything, and then Frenzy Burnout to make the pet more, do more damage, right? Uh, most of the AAs, right? So they're like all like maybe five to ten minute reuse, right? So this is a uh, turn element, five, five, five minute reuse, but it does 140,000 damage to a, a summoned, right? And having that just like, if it happens, it happens. That's nice, right? I do the same thing on my Paladin with an undead one. Uh, Servant Row summons a 106 pet that will go and attack for uh, 60 seconds. So once this is out, right, that's, that's, that gives me, what, three pets? Remor remorseless, my normal pet, plus this, so I'm at three. So keep that in mind. Uh, it does a ton of damage. <laughs> it's just a good, good all-around pet. Uh, then second wind here. So it places a guard on the uh, pet, right? This is just, I didn't know where else to put it kind of thing. Uh, if the pet, you know, drops drops any health right he's gonna you know not die uh it it's got a 20 minute reuse but it's a 12 second thing so i don't know it's just i have it there for that over there just to use it otherwise i wouldn't use it and then we have host of elements which summons three more pets so now we're at six <laughs> we have six pets that are active on the mob and this is a 10 minute reuse uh you know you'd probably maybe want to use this for a named but I like what I'm doing right now. I just do this. Like I, I, I think when I get to 125, I'll optimize, you know, all this stuff to be more concise. But right now I just use every ability I can when I can. And then we have force of elements, which deals uh, 20,000 magic damage uh, every 20 seconds. So it's just a, uh, it's an ability that costs mana that I don't have to mem a spell for. Uh, Dimensional Shield just shields me and uh, reduces my incoming damage. It's a 20 minute reuse, might as well just keep it going. Arcane Whisper just lowers my hatred. 10 minute reuse, I don't know, just it works. <laughs> and then finally Frenzy Burnout, which increases the pet's damage. Uh, and it just, uh, or is the actual triggers all these different things, right? It just makes him a super, super pet. Uh, it just works there. So I have it in my, my, I'll use it when I use it kind of thing. Uh, and I think, let me see. There's a few other utility things. Like here's like the, the sh just clickies for mod raws. There's a call a hero, single target AA I have on my bar. So I use this more than you would, you would probably imagine. Right. Uh, I'm, you know, running around one of my characters gets lost. I just summon them to me. I just summon them all usually and refigure it out where they're at. Uh, eradicate magic is a dispel, uh, for removing, you know, damage shields and whatever. Uh, elemental conversion is pretty cool. This is kind of like cannibalize, but for a mage. So it'll consume, uh, consume 64,000 health and restore 18,000 health and this is usable every 15 minutes i don't have it in my uh in my macro uh to just do it on demand because i would really rather have a little bit of control on that one uh heart of the frost stone just just didn't absorb i guess i could probably put it in in my spam but probably not worth it uh shield of elements i have this in my my burn but it's right here too if i want to just click it on just in case like if the tank goes down i could swap you know it's not useful now because i'm fighting mobs that will just kill this pet in one shot but assume i'm you know equal or equal level fighting equal level you know not more normal mobs right the tank dies i can swap to the mage turn taunt on and start popping you know that and get some of the uh companion uh buffing going on and he can possibly stay alive long enough for me to then go to the other screen and res the tank and get him back in the, the fight but you never know uh we have an aa shrink so it shrinks the pet uh summon companion we can summon him to us suspend him so you can have kind of two pets if you uh do it right you can suspend this one 
summon another one and then you can kind of like swap between them but at this point i don't really care and companion's aegis is another pet uh buff that just gives it a shield it'll absorb some hits up to 30 you know 12 hits up to 30 six damage per hit and that's about how much i'm getting hit for right now on my tank so that's that's kind of nice uh aspect of zombs summons an eye i don't know why i have it there but it's there elemental form is one of our buffs it turns us into an elemental uh, and gives us a ton of buffs uh i have the form turned off right now you can block the buff but it's it's a permanent buff you don't have to recast it i think it persists through death too which is kind of cool uh i recast it though just to make sure but it's 100 percent uh there and then velocity is a uh pet speed buff <laughs> Uh, it's not going to land on him right now because he has something better. Uh, but it'll make him run faster. And then Thermatuge, Thermatage is Unity, which is just a uh, all the self buffs, right? So we get uh, Chaotic Benefactions, Shield Stone Bodyguard, Shield of Polarius, Praetorian Guardian, right? So we have all our self buffs in one single button. Easy. Uh, easy, easy. And then over here I have Group Perfected invisibility group perfected invisibility to undead and perfected in levitation and then staunch recovery and expedient recovery all right that is all the abilities and stuff there let me pull up my log bars real quick all right so here is some logs from earlier today i was uh in Eastern Waste, doing the mercenary quest with uh, my my group, right? Now, this is a 104. I believe at this level, he's 104. A 104 um, mage against a level of their yellow to 111. So, I don't know, I don't, whatever that is, right? 112, 113, 114, something like that. That is insane. <laughs> uh, that is absolutely insane. Obviously, the Paladin does more because they're all undead, but uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, if we look at a lot of these, right, let's just pick a different one. Uh, here, what about this one? All right, here's, let's see, another one. He's third place again, 54,000 DPS. Uh, let's go up here, Corrupted Giant, 67,000 DPS, right? Cold Skeleton. That's not us. <laughs> Some other group. <laughs> I guess that ran by him. There we go. Uh, 68,000 against a re Restless Coldane. Now, earlier, earlier this morning, I did... I did uh, the uh, Dark, uh, Darkness Howls mission, right? So here we go. Here's a here's a parse. Uh, random Dark Fist mob, right? I did... This was... He was probably like 103 at this time. And he's doing 67,000 DPS against the level 111 mob at 10, what, 103, 104, right? So definitely great. And it's not even capturing his pet damage right here. So another 14,000 DPS would be attributed to him if it was actually working right. Uh, here's another one, 54,000 DPS. And if we go, we go up even further right i guess this is the 24 hour. here's an iron sentinel so this is a named mob in the uh in uh <laughs> over there uh it's level like 110 no this is it's yellow or so uh, let's say it's 113 let's i don't know but as you can see here this is it when he was at like level 101 level 102 He's doing 30,000 DPS to this to this thing without even trying. Uh, obviously, all the rest of the DPS is low. I was fighting a, a Wild Reno at the exact same time, and the Enchanter kept uh, breaking the mess because I had a typo in her macro. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can kind of just see. His DPS is a very solid with the way I'm running him right now. Uh, I think I can, you know, there's potential to get higher, right? Uh, there's always potential to get more, but he's just not going to get there right now because he's not, doesn't have the level. Uh, 
nor does he have any focus items. So that's another thing that's kind of important, right? So DPS is there, but there are focus items that are good, right? Um, like the arms, I believe, fire base damage right there is really good. Um, there's another focus that's really good too. Magic base, you know. Um, range. Uh, I don't even have a click on my robe, so I don't have my robe macroed. Um, like if we look at like say the mate, the enchanter's conflagrant robe, right? He doesn't have a conflagrant robe yet. Uh, but you see here's like it, they have a focuses on him now that do damage. <laughs> So there's, you know, he's missing some of that from being a heroic character. He has no augs or anything like that either. He is, uh, he is fresh. <laughs> he's very fresh. So there is potential for him to increase a lot over the time. And uh, right now he has the best ADPS I can give him with the bar, or the, the bard, but the uh, the enchanter and the druid. They, uh, they are some of the best classes for buffing mage damage, wizard damage also, but in this case, mage. And the only thing that would else increase him even further would be adding a bard to my group, which I don't plan on doing right now. I might try it, try it out, you know, when they're max level with one of my bards and see how that, how that plays. But right now, I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Uh, maybe we'll see how personas work out but um definitely kind of like he's solid he's 105 fighting you know things that are completely red to him like he would die instantly if he gets hit and uh, he does die instantly getting hit if you watch some of the videos <laughs> uh but for the most part he's uh he's doing enough damage that he is doing I would say he's he's gonna be like if we bring this back in right like the last mob we we're fighting we we're fighting these uh ghouls and that's no, not us uh yeah like this we're fighting this undead right and so this top one the top dps is the rogue mercenary um but she got a huge damage increase going from one 110 to 111 and i think I think Gnome Regard here is going to probably triple that damage. So I think when he gets to 111, he's going to be doing 120 plus K. Easy. Easy. Without even thinking about it. Like, <laughs> on normal mobs. I think that's where he's going to be going to be at. And then on burns, he's going to be even higher. Right? So that's just my thought. Uh... I am actually probably going to drop the mercenary uh, melee just to bring in another healer. Because uh, some of these mobs hit pretty hard, so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But that is how I play a mage. Uh, that is how I'm bocking a mage with my guru. Um, I'm, you know, it's some of the stuff is useful, some of the stuff is not, but is how I do it. And uh, that's kind of what my videos are, is how I do things. <laughs> uh, some of it could be useful. Uh, to how you play a normal non-boxed one. Uh, there's lots of guides on the internet for that uh, if you're looking for that kind of stuff, but I'm using this character in the case of a you know a box character with minimal interaction from me, right? I push five, he does all the stuff I need him to do using an IS boxer. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.